What are you doing that for? Have you ever just thought that the sun will always be shining and that it will always be dry when you head out for a run or an event? The combined impact of wet feet, <gasps> wet socks <gasps> and wet shoes could be disastrous. That's why it's important to practice just in case the weather isn't kind. Will your feet swell? Will your socks rub? Will your shoes rub? Will your shoes and socks rub because your feet are swollen? Will your technique change because your shoes are heavier due to being waterlogged? The last thing you want to do is damage your feet. Blisters are not your friends, especially if they result in them impacting your technique or stopping you from running until they're sufficiently healed. It's only through simulating conditions that you'll get a better idea how your feet will react. Don't leave it until race day to find out the hard way what happens when your feet, your socks, and your shoes get wet. Now that's what I call food for thought. What? Food, not food. Oh.